Hello, differential equation students. We have here a second order homogeneous linear differential equation that we're going to solve using reduction of order. Please note that our characteristic equation looks like this. That turns into r minus 1 squared equals 0. So we have here a repeated root, r equals 1. Well, that's kind of frustrating. We know one solution, y equals e to the t. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a guess for our second solution. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to make a guess. Remember that we can have any constant times e of t, and that will still be a solution. Let's not make it a constant. Let's make it a function v of t times e to the t. That's going to be our guess, and we're going to be plugging that in. Now, to save time and a little bit of space, we're just going to call that v e to the t, and remember that v is a function. So there's our y. Let's find our y prime. I have to take the derivative of this. Remember that v is a function of t, so I have to use the product rule. Of course, when I have v times the derivative of e of t, I just get e of t. Let's do that again. So using the product rule on the first term, I get this. And then using the product rule on the second term, I get this. v double prime e to the t plus 2 v prime e to the t plus v e to the t. Right, now that I have these, it's time to plug into the differential equation. So for example, everything I just wrote down, I'm going to write down again. That's the y double prime. v and e and t everywhere. Okay, minus twice the first derivative, which is right here. plus my original function, which is up here. All right, massive algebra time. Here we go. Sit back, enjoy the algebra. Look forward to the time that you will be doing this yourself. All right. Now, what's going to be happening every time you do this is you're going to be seeing some cancellations. So, for example, you can see that this term, boom, cancels with that term right there. Good. Those are the two with the v primes. Now, I've got plus v, plus v, minus 2v. So, boom, boom, boom. All of those cancel. So, what are we left with? Well, we're left with v double prime e to the t equals 0. Well, e to the t is never equal to 0, so that means v double prime equals 0. Still second order, but boy, a lot easier to solve. If we take one step, that means that the first derivative of v must be a constant. Let's call that c1. And if we take one more step, then we can solve for v. v is going to be c1t plus another constant, c2. Now let's go up. Remember that we're going to talk about what our guess is. Our guess is our new solution is y equals what we found for v, c1t plus c2 times e to the t. Now I want to point out something. We already knew that e to the t was the solution. So a constant times e to the t, that's just like the same solution multiplied by a constant. What's really different here? Well, what's really different here is the t. So we're actually going to say that our new solution, what we got out of this method that we didn't know before, was y equals t, e to the t. Remember that we need to find two solutions to equations like this and show that they're a fundamental set. We haven't shown that that plus that is fundamental. We can do that in class. But we have found a second solution that is different from our first, and that's reduction of order.